So it's time for our conversation, and this morning we are looking at arthritis, and we already have Dr. Sharif Autry from Armin Scientific in the studio to tell us all it is. But I was telling, Doc, good morning, by the way. Morning. I hope you are good. I, I'm also good, thanks for asking. I was telling this morning that um, arthritis, one way or the other, I think happens to most people. For, yes. me, for me, for example, within a year, mm -hmm. I realized that I, I get arthritis in November. And you know how I got to know my Snapchat from 2021 gives me an update that every November I put a bandage on my hand. Oh. I didn't know. It gives oh. me. So in November yes. last year, 2022, it gave me an update that mm -hmm. this is what happened 2021. No, I started 2020, then 2021, mm -hmm. then 2022. So I'm like, 2023, if I have any problem, I'm definitely going to the hospital to yes. check. So yes. I'm glad we're we having this conversation oh, exactly. today. Yeah. So we'll, we'll start by understanding what exactly mm. arthritis is, w what is it, and w what does it do? All right. Uh, thanks so much for, for the opportunity. And um, just as you mentioned, arthritis is a very common condition. Yeah. yeah. And arthritis actually happens when there's inflammation mm -hmm. within the joint. Oh, okay. Um, yes. So we, we have over 200 joints within the body. Mm. And Inflammation or arthritis can happen at any of these joints, you understand? So, arthritis is actually a two word that has been put together. It's a Greek word. Arthro means joint. Mm -hmm. so when two bones meet, it forms a joint. Oh. Now, so, when there's inflammation within any of mm -hmm. these joints, say you're having um, arthritis. arthritis, is inflammation. So, mm -hmm. the two come together to form mm -hmm. arthritis. arthritis. But um, there are a lot of arthritis mm -hmm. that we have. Yeah. But 200 different types. But um, the very common ones is osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and maybe gouty arthritis. That okay. is very common, you know, in our setting. Mm -hmm. Now, when we say you have osteoarthritis, the inflammation actually happens because um, at any joints in our body, from the waist to the knees to the ankle joints and all those mm -hmm. things, when the two bones meet, there's this tissue called cartilage mm -hmm. that is there to cushion the two joints from rubbing at each other. Each other. And it helps you give you the frictionless movement that you're getting at your joints. You move your hand, your arms, your legs, without having any difficulty or any pain or any challenge whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Now, over time, or when there's any problem, there could be wear and tear mm -hmm. within these cartilages. Mm -hmm. Now, when there's this wear and tear within this cartilage, what actually happens is that it will get to a time these cartilages will, will fade out or the sizes will decrease to the point where the bone will start rubbing at each, each other. other. Now, when this thing happens, remember there are a lot of things that, that happens at the joint, synovium mm -hmm. tissues, the bone itself and all this. So when it starts rubbing at each other, mm -hmm. that is when we say you have an osteoarthritis. Arthritis, okay. And it's very, very common. Mm -hmm. Very, very common. And then also um, with rheumatoid arthritis, uh, it's an autoimmune disorder when the immune system starts attacking the, the tissues around your joints. Mm -hmm. And when the immune system starts attacking you know, your joints, it gives you this autoimmune disorder called rheumatoid arthritis, and it's a very severe form of arthritis. Mm -hmm. And it's also very aggressive because uh, within a short period of time, it could cause more damage to the joints. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that is with uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And that's dangerous. It is very, very because dangerous. Because our, our immune system are to protect us. So oh. if the immune system is rather attacking... Sally. That is how serious wow, rheumatoid arthritis is. And, and um, quite, I think about two weeks or so, I had a case like that. Mm -hmm. And you could see with, because the, how severe the rheumatoid yeah, arthritis was, you could see with the imaging, the x-ray that the, pers uh, the patient presented with mm -hmm. very severe damage within the fingers, within the knee joints. And there are nodules all around at the elbow joints. At the, it, it was that bad. So it is very, very serious mm -hmm. form of arthritis. Mm -hmm. And the last one that we'll talk about this morning is the gouty arthritis. The gouty arthritis. And this also comes about when there's a lot of uric acid mm -hmm. in the blood. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when there's a lot of uric acid in the blood, 
what actually happens is this uric acid forms some form of crystals. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when these crystals deposit at the joint, mm -hmm. it causes this problem because they are very gritty. Mm -hmm. you know, so when they, they deposit at the joint and you are trying to move the, the joint, it's, it's as if you are rubbing sand on your skin mm -hmm. because it's very gritty. Yeah. It gives you this you know, gouty arthritis. Uh, you, you see people may gouty about and mm. all those things. And usually, gouty arthritis is, comes about when, uh, for example, based on what we do, what mm -hmm. we eat. Because mm -hmm. growing because up, you hear gout. Good. Good. Exactly, because <laughs> uh, uric acid is actually yeah. comes about from synthesized from purines. Purines yeah. comes from some of the food, some mm -hmm. things that we expose our bodies to. Mm -hmm. And that is how come we produce a lot more uric acid in mm -hmm. our blood which can lead us to having gouty the arthritis, arthritis as well. Wow. Uh, next time, we'll take it one by one. These different types, yes. the osteoarthritis, the gouty, and yes. the re what? rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis. arthritis. That's, that's very severe. Yes. But talking about the two bones rubbing at each other, don't yes. you know when people say you crack or break your hands too much, yes. there's a fluid mm -hmm. within the bones yes. that over the time, they say it gets like dried out. Is it a myth or it's a fact? Because they said when it dries out, when you grow up, that's when the, bo the bones like uh, crash at each other and then you have severe arthritis and other pains in the joint, especially with the fingers, because that's where we break a lot. Okay, so um, what actually happens? But wait, but does it have anything to do with arthritis? Yes, so okay. um, there's what we call synovium fluid. Mm -hmm. Now, this fluid is supposed to lubricate the joints. Yeah. So the bones, the cartilages, and all those mm -hmm. tissues, yeah. the tendons around the joint. Mm -hmm. So if, if there's a decrease in mm -hmm. synovium fluid, it could cause the bone to rub at each other, mm -hmm. and it could, lead, it could cause arthritis. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, so that is, synovium fluid is very, very important when you are talking about arthritis. Okay. Because it's, a, it's some form of fluid that is supposed to lubricate the joint mm -hmm. for us to get yeah. frictionless movement yeah. within the joint. So when you are lacking the synovium fluid, mm -hmm. which is supposed to lubricate the joint, mm -hmm. it could, one or the other, Both. lead to yeah. uh, you having some form of arthritis within that particular that joint. Particular that, joint. That you're, you're but is it the breaking of the hands? So what, what, what we are saying is, so when you break your knuckles, mm -hmm. Um, maybe one or the other, you don't do it so well and it could cause a problem there. So we advise, mm -hmm. we usually advise that we limit, you know, breaking of knuckles and mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because it could cause damage to some of the tissues around okay. the joint because you are using force yeah. to push the, the bones against each other. It could cause some, some sort of damage. And, and you know some of these things happens over that mm -hmm. over time yeah it doesn't actually happens when you do it mm -hmm. once over mm -hmm. time and then it will build up to you having some discomfort around the joint maybe as a result of a trial wow this conversation will have a part two most definitely but then let's touch finally on how the weather mm. plays a part in arthritis like i said my november experience yes yes so um is it related to the weather yes so we, we realize that you know some weather conditions aggravate some form of arthritis mm -hmm. in, in our body so you realize when the weather is too cold mm -hmm. people tend to complain about joint pains mm -hmm. body pains and all yeah. those things more yeah. because of the fact that the weather has effect on how you know uh, the joint so in extreme weather conditions mm -hmm. It can be a risk mm -hmm. in having arthritis because pain and discomfort increases okay. as a result of, of the weather. So weather actually have effects mm. on arthritis. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Wow. Then this is serious. But then, um, is it inherited? Yes. Some of the, some of the arthritis are inherited. So uh, you realize if your mom, your your dad, your siblings having this issue, mm -hmm. you need to be very careful because you can inherit some of these genes which can predispose you in, in, in to getting, getting arthritis. That. Yes, so it can be inherited. Wow, some of, some oh, of wow. The types of arthritis. Doc, we'll have a conversation, but you said um, you recently you encountered a patient with yes. um, arthritis yes. and anyone who has these issues yes. so where can they get to you but then anything you want to add before yes so if if you are watching us mm -hmm. this morning and you are constantly having joint pains mm -hmm. you 
always in pain, mm -hmm. any part of the body from the waist to the knee, waist to the fingers, everywhere. If you're having any form of mm -hmm. arthritis, what I'm saying is you just, you're, you're having that problem because you haven't visited Amen Scientific about okay. an alternative medical hospital mm -hmm. yet because we, we have the antidote. Mm -hmm. We have the ways because um, Amen is, has the expertise and the experience because mm -hmm. for over two decades that we've been in the system and we've encountered some of this problem over time and we've also devised strategies to counter some of this problem that mm -hmm. our people are going through. So don't, no matter the type of arthritis mm -hmm. that you are suffering, that mm -hmm. you're going through, just visit Amen Scientific about an alternative medical hospital. We have the equipments, we have the tools, we have the, the, the mechanism, mm -hmm. we have the process, everything in place for you. Okay. If it has to do with physio, if it has to do with giving medication and mm -hmm. all those. Because there are lots that goes into managing or treating arthritis. arthritis. Okay. And identifying the type that you're, you're, you have, you have yeah. is also very, very important. important. So Amen Scientific about an alternative medical hospital is keen on, on all these modalities mm -hmm. in making sure that your arthritis that you've been suffering from it for a very long time, mm -hmm. we give you an antidote to it once and for all. Okay. You just have to, you know, visit us, you know, uh, across Ghana, mm -hmm. from Borga to Wa to Tamale to Sunyane, Takradi to mm -hmm. Ho to Hohoi to Inche, Kumase. And in uh, Accra here, we have two branches. One at Domestic Flats, Okay. Close to the rail line, and one also at Lashibi Klagon, close okay. to the Ashama Underbridge. You can contact us on the following numbers on your screen. On the screens, yeah. 244 227 192. True. And 244 275 254. Mm -hmm. And the last one is 0207 229 mm -hmm. Call us and we'll, get a solution we'll, to your yes, problem. A, a, a long lasting solution, solution to, to your, your problem, arthritis. yeah. Dr. Sheriff Autry, thank you very much. But then we'll have a, a continuation of this conversation because we'll definitely. check the warnings, the signs, symptoms. Exactly. Um, you've mentioned that we can treat it. Yes, yes, So yes, we'll yes, go yes. more into it. And yes, then definitely. later we'll delve into the types, exactly. the osteoarthritis and the rest. Yeah, okay, thank you very much.